Hi everyone, I'm Kristen. This is my AuthorTube channel, and today I'm doing a book review about dun, 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 Dragon Watch. Let's do this! Dragon Watch was a super fun book. Um, it's written by Brandon Mull, who wrote Fable Haven. This is the third book in the series, and it was highly anticipated. The first book was great, the second book was great, and everyone was like gung ho to read book three and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to give away any spoilers just because that's not how I roll. Um, if you want spoilers, read the back of the book. The book. <laughs> read the back of the book. Um, just kidding, don't do that. I do that and it's a bad habit. Um, I'm also just gonna lead off by saying this is the kind of book that keeps you up at night because it's so fun to read and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. So here we go. I don't know what I should do with this. Just kind of set it here. <laughs> okay. This book starts out right where book two left off. So um, Seth has lost his memory and the siblings are separated. I think we all know that if we've read book two. So that's kind of where we started. Um, it's really cool to see how Kendra and Seth do individually because all through Fable Haven and book one and book two they were together and everything that happened in the Magic Kingdom happened with them as one and in this book it's the first time that you see them separate and have to use their abilities um, individually and so that was really cool. Um, the setting of this one was really fun too. It was set in a tropical island, which we haven't seen really from many of the other Fable Haven books. There's been a lot of woods, there's been a lot of like swamps, there's been a lot of um, castles, all sorts of different things. But this was a more tropical island, kind of like Cancun, where there's like a series of islands. Um, so that was really, really fun. Um, a lot of the new magical creatures that we got to uh, meet because of the location was also really fun. And I don't know, it just added a nice little tropical flair to um, to the series and to kind of what we were used to seeing. Um, it was a, a sanctuary in that part of the world. And so um, I won't go into too many more details because I don't want to ruin anything, but it was pretty cool um, kind of seeing the different elements that come with, um, with some coastal and some, some tropical settings. Um, one of the big things, and, and we know this from the book before, was Seth having lost his memories. And it was really interesting how Brandon Mole wrote that. Um, and it's interesting just as like a topic of thought. It's like, what would happen and who would you become if, if you lost your memories and you've lost how you feel about things and you lost your family and your friends and everything you know? Um, and so that was a really interesting perspective for me. And it made me think a lot about like, oh, like so much of who I am is made up of, of what I remember. And if you lost that, how would you then figure out who you were? And so we see a lot of that, excuse me, with Seth. That's his big journey in this book is finding out who he is. Um, if he's gonna be good, if he's gonna be bad, if he's gonna um, listen to certain influences, if he's gonna listen to other influences. And so it was a really cool, um, really cool kind of topic and a really cool exploration that Brandon Mull did during the um, Dragon Watch. Um, I will say that I did not love the villain of this one super much a lot. That was an awkward way to say that. I didn't like the villain a whole lot. Um, I won't, I mean, there's always like a big bad like boss guy in each of the books, but there's also like the underpinning, like, like the guy who's trying to manipulate and do the behind the scenes stuff and honestly I found both villains kind of weak um, so that was something that I didn't really I didn't really buy into um, but that's okay because the conflict between Seth and trying to figure out like who he is was really strong so I felt like it was okay but the villain meh could have used a little bit of work um, another really cool thing was we've seen a lot of Kendra in the past kind of discover her fairy kind powers and in this book, we get to see Seth develop some of his Shadow Charmer abilities, which is really cool. Um, I won't go into any details, but it's really fun to see that side of him being explored. Um, because I feel like 
it's been focused a lot on Kendra in the past, so it's fun to kind of shift that a little bit here. Um, and then as far as just the book in general, I liked it. I enjoyed it. The writing was a little bit choppy. Um, it's definitely not as smooth and not as like exciting as Fable Haven. Um, Fable Haven, I just loved, and I read that over and over again. It's a fun escape. Um, it's a great series. And I like Dragon Watch as well. Um, it's just not quite, in my mind, um, the same. But it's still a fun read. It kept me up at night because, like I said, I wanted to see what was going to happen. And these are characters that I've really learned to love and to, you know, want good things for. So, anyway, it's a good book. Check it out if you haven't read it. And I will see you in my next video.